What's up, Brizzo here, and this is Darksiders Apocalyptic Difficulty with collectibles. Uh, so now that we have two swords in, we're going to come into this room here where there's a Beholder Key and a Wrath Core, but of course there's an ambush. Uh, both chests are going to disappear into the ground, so you're going to have to fight your way uh, to bring them both back up, and they'll come up once all the enemies are dead. So later on in this video, uh, we're going to be meeting the Jailer, who is this really big-ass enemy. Uh, now, when the reviews for this game came out, reason that they said it was, like, God of War and, uh, Zelda had a baby. Well, this is the first time that you're really gonna see the Zelda reference. Now, you get the crossblade here, and now, that means there's plenty of puzzles here that you have to use the crossblade to solve. And not only that, there's some enemies you're gonna need to kill with the crossblade, and of course the boss itself is gonna have to get killed with the crossblade. So this is the beholder key for that beholder gate that we saw a long ass time ago. So we have to make our way back there and open that bad boy up. Uh, from this point on, um, this area is going to be flush with combat. So be ready for it. Alright, so one of these switches is missing, it's going to raise up this other platform, and in the way is a new enemy type called the Jailer. Uh, he's this big ass guy who has a, uh, like a small yellow dude inside him, and he wields a big ass cage, he does lots of damage, so you need to be aware of his attacks, um, but if you just do what I do, he's no problem. Uh, don't really worry about the other enemies that come in and help him, they're really not much of a problem. So pull out your crossblade, and what you want to do is target all three yellow points on his shoulder. Once he goes down, the little yellow guy comes out. That's who you want to whack. And once that's done, uh, all his yellow points are going to go red. And that means it's time to go. So just make your way around. Let him do his mad thing. And once he calms down, those points are going to turn yellow again. Whack him. And then whack the little yellow guy again, and you're going to do this a couple times until the B button prompt appears over his head, and that means it's time to take him out. Now up ahead is an elevator that we're going to take down a level. Uh, that's where the other switch that uh, was missing from before is located. And we're going to have to raise that. Now when you get to the bottom of that area, uh, there's a hidden weapon enhancement 
that in order to find, uh, again, much like Legend of Zelda, um, you'll get by activating all the torches. Um, and by activating all the torches, I mean spreading the fire to them. And of course, you can do that using the crossblade. So take the elevator down. And there's some minor puzzles down there and some enemies to fight. Uh, but if you just do as I do, you'll be okay.